It's one of Hong Kong's busiest hospitals, and the research taking place here could prove to be a game changer in the battle against the Omicron COVID-19 variant. Dr. Kelvin To and his team say they're the first in Asia to isolate the variant from samples taken from recent Omicron cases in the city. When we know that we have a case of Omicron variant in Hong Kong, we uh, go straight away and do the viral culture. And in a few days, uh, we could see uh, the, the virus isolate um, uh, from the viral culture. And uh, I think the most important is that with this virus, we can then do a lot of experiments to assess the risk of this Omicron variant to humans. The team is analyzing Omicron's resistance to vaccines and trying to measure whether it's more contagious than previous variants. The first local Omicron cases were discovered at this airport hotel last week. Investigations suggest the virus was transmitted between two travelers who never had any contact. One of the postulations is that when one of the, especially the index case, opened the door, the virus got spread into the corridor. And because the air is not flowing too well in the corridor, so it stays that, in that position, and then when the other person or the victim opens his door and get his food or whatever, then he may breathe it in. And we believe if this is really occurring, then this is airborne transmission. And if some a virus is airborne, that means it can transmit more easily. So this is one reason among many that that's why we think this Omicron variant, we have to be careful. Hong Kong has recorded four Omicron cases, all from travelers to the city. That's prompted the government to tighten its border controls. It's banned visitors from more than 20 countries deemed to be high risk. And anyone who is allowed in must spend up to three weeks isolating in a quarantine hotel room on arrival. In the meantime, the research team is working with drug makers in the Chinese mainland to develop new vaccines that can specifically target Omicron. It's hoped they could be ready within a few months. I'm sure more, more, more and more variants will come up. And every single time when these variants come up, we'll need to think whether we need to develop a new vaccine or not. Um, in my opinion, I think it will just be like an influenza vaccine. Uh, for influenza, for example, we, uh, the, we have like a yearly vaccination and in some years the vaccine components need to be updated because of the mutations for the influenza. So I think it will be very likely for COVID as well that the, 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 the vaccine manufacturers will get used to the pattern that we, you know, we have to develop a new, new version because of the mutations. Two thirds of Hong Kong's population are fully vaccinated. Health authorities are urging the remaining third to do so as soon as possible and warning against people waiting for new vaccines before being inoculated. Do not wait for the new generation. The new generation, yes, it will be better. But if you do not vaccinate now, you may get infected. And having COVID-19 can be a really serious disease, even for the young and healthy. The government is hoping that if the risks posed by the Omicron variant can be managed effectively, there'll be no need to tighten the city's social distancing measures and its plan to reopen the border with the Chinese mainland in the coming weeks can stay on track. Richard Kimber for CGTN in Hong Kong.